All right, so I created a guest paper for Pure 3 for the May June 2024 series. What I've done is I've compiled past paper questions with concepts that I think might appear in the May June series. Obviously, I may be wrong, so take this with a grain of salt. But anyways, subscribe and let's dive right in. Question 1 is a simple logarithm question. The February-March logarithm question was a bit more challenging than usual and whether Cambridge will continue asking logarithm questions in that manner, I do not know. But what I have put here is a pretty standard logarithm question that comes up quite often. Question number 2 is an argon diagram, not the most challenging question. But most students tend to struggle with the part B, since that concept is rarely tested and when it is tested, it's always slightly different. Question number 3 is a modulus question. It's slightly challenging because of the constant A that has been included. Usually that would be an integer, so having that letter A makes it a bit more challenging to simplify. Question number 4 is a harmonic identity. This concept also came up in the February-March series, so I do suspect that it should come up again in the May-June series. Once you understand how to find R and alpha, this is usually a simple question. Question number 5 is a differentiation question. I've chosen to include an implicit function together with this tangent question, since this also appeared in the February-March paper. Do note that though, some variants in the Majin series will have an implicit function, while others will have parametric equations. Question number 6 is an interesting numerical solution mixed with a bit of integration. You have to start off by evaluating the integral and then prove the given equation. Then the rest is pretty much just a standard numerical solutions question. Question number 7 is a bit of an obscure one. You really get tested on how to find the integral of Arctan let alone the integral of arctan of half x, so it's slightly more challenging. And because this is not tested frequently, it may prove challenging to most. Question number 8 is a pretty standard differential equation with 8 marks. The method to integrate may be a bit difficult to see initially, but with a bit of creativity, you should be able to solve this differential equation. Question number 9 is solving an equation under complex numbers. This question uses the technique that is required to solve virtually all complex number equations. So understanding this question should get you prepared to solve any complex number equation in the May June series. Question number 10 is a vectors question. Cambridge is spoiled for choice in what they can bring for this topic. Because it only has one question, yet there are so many concepts under this topic. So it can be anything from skew lines to the foot of the perpendicular. In this question though, I've chosen to go for a scalar product since this can be applied to multiple concepts. Finally, question number 11. This is a pretty common algebra question, decomposing a function into its partial fractions and then expanding that same function in part b. As long as you understand algebra, these should be pretty straightforward questions and I suspect that at least one of the major papers will have this question. So that's the guest paper, have a go at it. The link to the pdf is in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And tune in tomorrow at 6 p.m. CAT for the solutions to this guest paper. Until then, bye bye.